Okay, so this is my mag drive uh, series 11, a single cell brick, kind of blurry. Um, right now it's not running, but I got some anodes and cathodes coming out the sides here. Really don't know what I'm talking about, so offhand I don't remember which is which. I think this is the anode. I don't know. Doesn't much matter. <laughs> um, it's got everything hooked up right now. I'm going to try and roughly explain how the uh, the hookup goes on here. We've got our box here, control box, which comes with 30 amp, whoop, whoop, 30 amp limiter. You can hardly tell that's 30. It's kind of weird. Got to zoom back, which uh, gets spliced and will go straight into your battery. Then you have another thing on your positive. You know, this is your positive terminal which will come back down. This guy goes straight to your uh, little switch there. Turn the switch on. Lights up. Turn the switch off. Probably shouldn't do that since there's nothing in it right now. Um, but that's how it turns on and off. Got your... Oh, zoom out. It's pretty much labeled. It says power, ACC, and ground. This thing does not want to read it though because it's pretty fine. But um, your power is the one that you're going to have set up straight to your battery positive. The uh, ACC is the one that splices in and it's the red wire that comes out of here. So the red wire out of here splices to the ACC here. Um, if I was using a fuse box in my car to uh, set it up so it went on and off with the car or something like that. I believe you set it up right there through the ACC. Um, do a lot more research than watching my video, but I figured I have one of these things. Might as well toss a video up. Um, and then, uh, then there's just a ground wire which goes straight. Um, you know, you ground it right now. I just have it set up um, for convenience to the ground post on here. So I actually. Um, and this goes straight through to both sides and then comes out and goes to our uh, negative. And, uh, I'm pretty sure this blue one here has something to do with uh, if you have a power uh, or a pump you know, uh, to circulate. And I'm also quite positive that these thin red ones have something to do with these thin red ones um, for your uh, level sensors on your C-trap. Um, I'll explain how the hydrogen goes through. Um, this is your outpost. Uh, it will go straight up through here. Try and keep it as uh, you know, up and down as possible you know, without very much curves in the hose. And it goes up into here. That side's the top. And it comes out. Um, I've seen a lot of these and they normally have one minus two for some reason. I don't really know so I just toss this guy on here which uh, you know, this end nothing comes out this way. This is a one way. It normally goes into your reserved your reservoir. Um, and then this guy goes out and goes right into the bottom of the generator. Um, normally you'd have this hose that's coming out of the bottom here um, go down and it would go to a T and then one end of the T would come from your uh, your reservoir and the other one would come from right there so it recirculates. Right now I just have it recirculating. Um, Bam, I mumbled for about four minutes already. So um, I got that far. That's where it comes back down in. So up here is where your actual hydrogen will come out. I have it coming down.